Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max news for the month of April. Let's start with Corona 12, a new version for this popular renderer. Now we have a new differential ray filtering that makes textures way sharper and less blurred. Per camera global volume override that allows to set different global volume settings for each camera and improvements to the new depth of field solver. New LUTs are also added. And when scrubbing through the timeline, only the changes in your scene are parsed, making interactive rendering significantly faster when you are scrubbing your timeline. There's support for Anima 6 that is adding a vehicle animations and support for Autodesk 3 ds Max 2026. And if you want to see what other plugins are compatible with Autodesk 3 ds Max 2026 that remember was available last month, Changso has started on Stack, the render group on Facebook, a list of plugins that already has support. As you can see, multiple big plugins are already compiled for this new version. We have the Gribble, that awesome to do all type of sci-fi stuff, Hot for Max, UV Reactor, Fume FX, V-Ray, Corona, Forest Pack, Rail Clone, and all the other i2soft plugins. Final Fluid from Sebas is also supported. Another one that added support to the new Max is Deadline version 10.4.1.6. And great news because Joseph Winnerreuther, also known as Space Frog, made available the complete suite for the Thingbox 3ds Max plugins. That remember, now are open source, but they need to be ported. And now they are built for Max 2018 up to Max 2026. This includes Krakatoa, Stoke, Frost, and XMesh. Amazing plugins all for all of you that you are working on effects and yeah, multiple uh, scene data management for particles and rendering particles. They are all free to use, but it took a lot of time to get these builds ready, so you can always thank Joseph uh, work with a buy me a coffee. KS Studio released PBR Material Generator, an add-on for Project Manager. It allows to create PBR materials in bulk from multiple textures. You can customize presets and generate materials from thousands of textures. All within Project Manager, it costs $7.5, but remember that you need to have a license for Project Manager or Material Manager to be able to use that. Mihail Lupu shared a preview of a tool that he's developing that allows to brush splines with multiple features to interactively comb hair guides. This tool is still in development. I have Candil share a script that indicates by color the poly count or number of submaterials on the object. This tool costs $10. UV Reactor released a new version with lots of improvements, a non-uniform striated tool, vertex spinning, vertex and grid snapping, type in transform, grid density changes, make it dock dockable or not, and way more. And in the 3ds Max is only for RGB section, we have Ivan VFX that shared a personal work done in 3ds Max, Type Flow and V-Ray of an asteroid breaking over time and it's getting transformed and crashed into a gem that looks very cool. Nan Li created this impressive 3D print of the Black Myth Wukong main character that we saw it, it's a video game that was very famous, done a lot in 3ds Max and he used 3ds Max to prepare the 3D model, uh, some of the renders that uh, he did are done in Corona but then he used a 12k 3D printer to printing, uh, physically printing the 3D model using resign, pump plastic, PVC and elastic fabric to create this 17 cm figure that he then painted manually. A lot of detail and incredible final details on this project that started as a 3D project and ended as an epic real figure. You can see him putting the hair by hand and it looks amazing, a lot of details. Malware's animation shared another of their animal animations, now it's time for a cat. 
And the cat is not using cat, it's using biped. I don't know if it's ironic or not, but quite funny. I don't know, my sense of humor if... Uh, I don't know. Cool cat animation, by the way. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora video game got a new DLC and Patrick Metz shared his work in modeling, planning and pre-production of the operating base alpha that was the location for the bitter end using 3ds Max and a snowdrop. Luke created a nice and very weird character done in 3ds Max, Maya, Substance Painter, Forest Pack, Ornatrix and rendered on Redshift. And we have Mohamed Gadimi that created a warrior woman using a well substance painter and rendered on Corona Renderer for a contest about a sexy warrior and yeah indeed it's very sexy. On the tutorial section we have a tutorial by Norberto Aguilera in how to extract and edit the steps from BIP files they are very useful and if you are using biped, uh, great uh, place to find biped information that there is not that many tutorials on biped. Spline Dynamics is working on his max scripts bits and tricks now with four different short tutorials covering scripting. And if you want even more tutorials about scripting, let's remember the excellent let's3dsmax.com where Chang So Eun will teach in detail all what you need to know about the scripting. You can start checking the first three tutorials for free to see if it's something that you will be interested on. Uh, remember, these uh, tutorials, the cool thing, or I mean different thing, is that they are not video tutorials, they are graded tutorials, but sometimes when you need to follow something like a scripting, I found it more interesting because you don't need to be stopping the videos. And it's a lot of screen uh, grabs from the 3ds Max and a lot of graded information that you need to apply. And really interesting and knowing Chang So for quite a long time and reading what all the different artists has to say, I am pretty sure that this course will be gold. So if you want to know more about the scripting, this is your tutorial. And another friend, this time Will Wallace, created a fantastic course to learn Houdini, creating an advanced car rig and destruction setup. And you will say what a Houdini course has to do in a 3ds Max news video. But yeah, I know, knowing Will, I know that even the tutorials for Houdini, Will did a lot of the prep work and final assembly for the final sequence in 3ds Max uh, for speed and flexibility. You can see here the different setups that he created in 3ds Max, and it's possible that in the future we get an extension of the car effects tutorial covering the 3ds Max aspect of it. But so far, if you want to learn suspension rigging in Houdini, complex asset management, metal deformations and rigid bodies, solver management and more, I will have no doubt that Will is one of the best, with very easy to understand setups that not only looks exceptional uh, great, but they are also the most artist friendly, getting rid of the typical overcomplicated nonsense that most Houdini artists tend to do. Um, great, great uh, phone of... Yeah, if you need to learn Houdini or maybe what something different Max or Houdini or maybe you are just curious knowing what Houdini can do uh, Will Wallace has been a long time 3ds Max artist and being a 3ds Max artist when you switch to Houdini I could see that people coming from Max switching to Houdini have a way to do things easier in general and more straightforward so check it out because Pretty sure this thing is awesome. And that's all for this month, guys. Remember that if you want to support me, go to my Patreon. This month we got an exclusive video showing the different updates on 3ds Max 2026 with examples. I as well cover uh, with another tutorial the new value operators to create an artist tool to use Typeflow even without needing to open Typeflow. And I will go over setting up uh, bindings in a manual way, explaining some common problems and bugs found along the way. So remember, 
having a lot of fun on Patreon. Also, all the people supporting me on Patreon allows me to do all these videos. So thanks a lot, you guys. And that's all, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.